Welcome to our St. Anne's audio-visual presentation. The churches of St. Anne's and St. Peter's have been offering worship in the community of Marsh and Micklefield for at least 150 years. Over that time, the worship has remained recognisably Anglican. Scriptures have been read, hymns sung, intercessions offered, and liturgy spoken or chanted. The way the services have been communicated, however, has changed through the years. Different service books, changes in the hymns and hymn books, updated translations of the Holy Bible. And these changes have reflected the changes around in culture. And whilst never changing our central message, the changes that we've made have tried to make our message more easily understood for our community. As the words from the ordination service say, each change has been an attempt to proclaim afresh the faith of the church in each generation. So the changes to the methods of worship and the language of worship are often small and incremental. Sometimes, however, a once in a century change in society requires that we take a more radical look at how we respond in order to continue faithfully offering worship and communicating the love and the goodness of God to our local community. This pandemic, with its lockdowns and attendant fears, is one of those crises that prompts us to look afresh at how we can most effectively bring good news to, to our people. When initially mulling over the effects of the pandemic with colleagues, one asked, is this a blizzard, or a winter, or an ice age? They were making the point that we need to respond differently depending on our understanding of the longevity of the crisis. The more time goes by, the more it seems we find it difficult to imagine when the end will be. And so we need to plan. How can we continue to offer worship that caters for the socially distant, the no-touch needs of today? How can we continue to invite online people and those who are shielding to join us in the building of St Anne's? Well, you may have gathered that we've been thinking about how we can do this in St Anne's and the idea that the PCC have been considering is the upgrading of the sound system installed some time ago by Derek Carr and adding to it a visual element. This is what is known as an audio-visual system. So what might this system look like? We anticipate having one or two TV screens. One located somewhere discreetly so that the service leader can tell what's coming up next. And then one mounted also discreetly on the wall just to my side here that can pull out on a mount. The idea with both screens is that we'd like them to be in a colour that blends with the wall. We don't really want it to be black. We're hoping that the screen mounted here would be able to have a curtain in front of it so that when it's not in use and not needed for a given service, it can just be hidden away. We think it's important that there are a couple of cameras, one that captures the whole panorama of the front of the church as this screenshot does now, and one that can zoom in to capture individual people as they read or as they intercede for us. There'll be a few items to control the system and we anticipate those being located in the position of the hymn book cupboard at the moment so that it can be discreet. The technology of any service would be managed as it is now by trained people. So why do we need to take this action now? We want to continue worshipping with a mixture of people in the building and where those people still wish to shield, we want them still to be able to join us online. We'll record and stream the services in the same way as we do from St Peter's. And we can put words of hymns and liturgy onto the screen, enabling all to see them clearly. 
and removing the need for hymn books and paper sheets, which negate the risk of transmitting the virus of items that other people have touched. We can use this technology to incorporate people into our services of worship as they intercede and read from home. So, what steps have we already taken in thinking about this? We've drawn up an initial list of needs, what we need our system to do for us. We've talked briefly to the diocese about their thoughts. They keep a careful eye on churches like our Grade 2 listed building, so that we don't do things to it that will destroy its historical importance or its beauty. We hope to be going back to them with a formal proposal once we've refined our thinking through our discussions together. We've asked a number of companies to give us their initial ideas of how they might help us to fulfil our requirements and the sort of cost that this may incur. We put together a timeline of when we will consult with you, our congregation, with the diocese and with the companies who are quoting and designing the system. This is a new idea for St Anne's and we appreciate that many of you will have opinions about it. So what are we going to do to enable everybody to think this through and give us their thoughts? We will have other presentations at St Anne's and St Peter's. This will be put online so that people can look at the video later. Look on the website for details of when the presentations are going to be. These presentations will include questions and answer sessions. We will also be happy to have one-to-one -one consultations in person at St Anne's. We will send out a consultation document asking for your thoughts in writing and this needs to be returned to us by the 10th of November, ready for the PCC that's to be held on the 18th of November. So, how are we going to pay for this? Fundraising possibilities are being explored with the national charity. We are awaiting a grant decision by the end of September. And there are some, some funds available from the diocese. The PCC has some money available for projects which may be useful. We are likely to need to add to this though through fundraising. So, what do we need from you? We need your thoughts, the positives you can see, the challenges and the disadvantages that you see. By taking all these into consideration, we hope that we will come up with a visually pleasing and unremarkable, nearly invisible system that will enable us to worship as a whole congregation, scattered and gathered in safety. Thank you for listening to our presentation. And if you're listening online, please do go to our news page on our website for all the details which you will find there.